Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the add to numbers problem. You are given two non-empty linked lists, representing two non-negative integers. The digits are stored in reverse order, and each of their nodes contain a single digit. Add the two numbers and return it as a linked list. You may assume the two numbers do not contain any leading zero, except the number zero itself. Okay, so in this problem, for example, they give you these two lists. The first one has the value 342, and the other one has the value 465, because they are stored in reverse order. So this one represents the value 342, because you have to read from right to left, and this one represents the value 465. When you add them up, you get the value 807. So um, how can we solve this problem? Um, for this problem, we can use the domino technique. So that's going to allow us to simplify building up the final result list because we can keep track of the first node of the final result. So first, we're going to iterate through both lists and as we iterate, we're going to add the corresponding values. So we add 2 plus 5 is 7, make a new node and put a 7 here. Then move to 4 plus 6 is 10, make a new node and we put the, the 0 from the 10. We don't put the 10, we put a 0 and um, we have to extract the rightmost digit of the 10, which is a 0, and then we have a carry of 1. So we move to the next two nodes, 3 plus 4 is 7, plus the carry, which is 1, is 8, and we're done. So as you can see, we can use iteration, and also we can use the domino technique to solve this problem. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I have a pointer to node dummy, gets a value of new list node with value negative 1. So this node, the only purpose is to simplify building up the final list. Um, it's going to keep track of the first node of the final result. Also, I need pointer to node curve points to whatever dummy is pointing to. So um, this is going to allow me to move uh, through the final result and continue building it as I iterate. And I need a variable carry. This is going to keep track um, if I have a carry value from the previous iteration. So while L1 is not equal to null or L2 is not equal to null, that means that if L1 is pointing to something or L2 is pointing to something, that means that I have more values left to add. So I have to continue the iteration. So I want to get the first value and the second value. So integer V1 value 1 gets a value of L1 is not equal to null if L1 is pointing to something, that means that L1 is not equal to null, then value 1 gets the value of L1 that value. Otherwise, if L1 is null, that means that there's no value in that list anymore. So I'm, I can add 0 to, I can say that V1 gets the value of 0. Also, integer V2 gets the value of L2 is not, L2 is not equal to null. If, that, if that's the case, then L2 is pointing to something. So there's a value there. So I say v2 gets a value of l2 that value. If there's no value left in l2, I say that v2 is 0. Then I have to add those values. 2 plus 5 is 7, for example. So I say integer sum gets a value of value 1 plus value 2, but I might have a carry from the previous iteration. So I can have, I have to add a carry as well. So plus the carry. Okay, now that I have the sum of this iteration, I need to prepare the carry for the next iteration. So I'm going to say carry gets a value of sum divided by 10. And this is integer division. So that means that, for example, if the sum is 10, 10 divided by 10 is 1. So the carry is going to be 1. If the sum is 11, 11 divided by 10 is also 1 using integer division. So the carry is going to be 1. So if the, su if the sum is 10 or bigger, the carry is going to be 1 using this. If the sum is less than 10, the carry is going to be 0 using integer division. So this is going to prepare the carry for the next iteration. And now I can build my, my final result. So I can say that care.next gets the value of new list node with value. So what am I going to put? I'm going to put um, in this case, 2 plus 5 is 7, 
but in this case 4 plus 6 is 10 so I want to put the rightmost digit of the 10 so I'm going to say the sum modulo 10 this is going to get this is going to give me the rightmost digit of a number um, so um, for example from 10 it's going to give me the 0 but if I say 2 plus 5 is 7 it's going to give me the 7 here and then um, I'm going to move cur because if I leave cur that next because um, if I let's say that I make a, a new node for 0 I say cur that next because value new node with value 0 and then I want to move cur to point here to continue building the final result and once I'm done with that I want to continue moving here um, the corresponding node in L1 and also the corresponding node in L2 so I'm gonna say if L1 is not equal to no if there are more values to add in L1 then advance to the next value L1 has value of 1 dot next if there are more values to add in L2 if L2 is not equal to no then L2 has a value of L2 dot next and finally there might be a carry value. Let's say that I add up all the values in this list and all the values in, with all the values in this list, I might have a carry. So I have to check that case too. So if carry is greater than zero, then I'm gonna say carry that next because the value of new no with value one, and I return dummy that next because as I said before. Um, dummy that next is gonna point to the first node in the final result. That's the only purpose of dummy to keep track of that first node. So I'm gonna run the code. It seems to be working fine. So now I'm going to submit. As you can see, uh, this is 21 milliseconds faster than 92% of Java Online submissions for add to numbers. Um, the time complexity is big O of m plus n, where m is the length of the first list and n is the length of the second list. Uh, please press the like button, uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.